Hi everybody. It's Tuesday and it's toddler story time. I'm Miss Lisa from the St. Paris Public Library. If you have a shaky egg, grab your shaky egg. Otherwise, grab your shaky bottle or just shake your hands, but we're going to stand up and start our story time on our feet. Here we go. Today I feel like shaking my hands. Hey. or maybe some rubber animals. Um, everybody's got something different. If you don't have any, if you don't have a story time bag from us, you just need two small little stuffed animals of some sort. You could even use action figures if you want to use those. It doesn't make any difference, whatever you have. Okay, here we go, you ready? Two little friends were sitting on a hill, one named Jack and one named Jill. Run away, Jack. Run away, Jill. Come back, Jack. Come back, Jill. Two little friends were sitting on a cloud. One named Soft and one named Loud. Run away, Soft. Run away, Loud. Come back, Soft. Come back, Loud. Two little friends were sitting on a hill, one named Slow and one named Fast. Run away, Slow. Run away, Fast. Come back, Slow. Come back, Fast. Two little friends were sitting on a hill, one named Jack and the other named Jill. <laughs> That's fun. All right, grab your scarf. If you don't have a scarf, you can use a washcloth or a dish towel or something small enough for your little hands to, to handle. We're going to scrunch it. We're going to wind it. We're going to toss it. We're going to do lots of things with it. So grab us something you can use. Let me start the music. <clears throat> We're going to go round and round. You ready? Going round and round. Clap your hands. 
Round and round. help them or do it for them but please try to give them the chance to do it on their own here we go you ready scrunch and scrunch it get it all scrunched up in there they just need to have it scrunched enough to toss it it doesn't all have to be in there but the bigger kids should be able to get almost all of it in there so tuck it all in tuck it all in here we go you ready we're going to count to five one two three four Five and toss it up. Woohoo! Did you catch yours? I caught mine. All right. Shake it, shake it. Shake it. Here we go. You ready? Scrunch it up. Get it all scrunched in there. Scrunch it and scrunch it and scrunch it. Repetition is very important for young children. They like to know what's coming and they like it when they know what they're doing and what to expect when they do some things. So that's why we repeat a lot of things in toddler story time. Here we go. You ready? We're going to count to five. One, two, three, four, five. Woo-hoo-hoo. -hoo. Ah, did you catch it the second time? I almost didn't. Shake it out. One more time. Scrunch it up. This is our last time. Get it all in there. Here we go. You ready? We can count to five. One, two, three, four, five. Woo! Awesome. <laughs> Good job. Good job. All right. Let's put our scarf away. All right. We're going to read our first story today. Um, so have a seat and listen up. So nice out, I thought I'd come outside and read a story today. This book is called Animals. Look at that. What is that? It's a kitty cat. It has an eye and an eye and a nose. Isn't he cute? He's a cute kitty cat. Animals have a lot to say. What are they saying? What does an owl say? Who? Who? What does a dog say? This is a little dog. He says, woof, woof. Look at that big dog. He's he's howling. How can you howl like a dog? This little puppy has he's chewing on a ball. He's saying grr. He's growling. Can you growl like a dog? Grrr. Oh no, what's that? It's a cow. What does a cow say? Moo. Oh. little kitty cat. He's sleeping. He's saying purr, purr. And there's another little kitty and he's saying meow. Can you meow like a cat? Meow, meow. Uh oh, this one's mad. He's going like that. He hisses like a kid, like he's mad. What's that? That is a chicken. A chicken says cluck, cluck. And there's a rooster, and a rooster says, cock a doodle doo Can you do a cock a doodle doo cock a doodle doo There is a parrot, and he says, squawk. And this is another parrot, and he can talk. And he's saying, hello. <laughs> I would like to hear a bird talk. Oh, that's pretty. What is that? That's a horse. That's a mare a big horse, and that's a colt, a baby horse. And they're saying, nay, nay, like a horse. And there's a pony, and he says, whinny, whinny. Ooh, what's that? That's a snake, and he hisses like that. 
And there's a rattlesnake. You want to be careful of those. They're not very nice. And a rattlesnake, he shakes his tail and makes a rattly noise. There's some dolphins. And they say, click, 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 under the water. And when they jump up out of the water, they squeak, squeak, like that. What's that? That's a sheep. What does a sheep say? A sheep says, bah, bah, buh, buh, bah. And here's a little lamb. That's a baby sheep. A mommy sheep is called a ewe. And a little sheep is called a lamb. And a lamb says, bleat, 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 like that. <laughs> It's a donkey. Oh, those crazy donkeys. Look how big his teeth are. He says, hee-haw, hee-haw. Can you hee-haw like a donkey? Hee-haw, hee-haw. And there is a frog. What does a frog say? Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. He's got a big eye. What is it? That's right, it's a duck. What does a duck say? Quack, quack, quack. This is a boy duck. He's a male duck. You can tell because he has a green head and a white stripe and a brown chest. He's a mallard. He's a, a male mallard duck. Oh, there's a goose. You better watch out for those. Sometimes they bite. The, the geese, they bite. You gotta be careful. What does a goose say? He says, honk, 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 honk. Oh, and there's a dove. And he says, coo, 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 coo. What's that? It's a lion. And he says, roar. Can you roar like a lion? Roar. And there's a female lion. She says, growl. Can you growl like a lion? Roar. And there is a snarling lion. She's snarling like that. Makes her teeth all funny looking when she snarls. And there. I think that looks like a coyote and he's howling. Or a wolf, that's probably a wolf and he's howling. What does a wolf say? Howl, when they howl at the moon. <laughs> that's a hyena. Hyenas don't howl, they laugh and he's going <laughs> like that. He laughs real funny. Can you laugh like a, howl a hyena? <laughs> like that. <laughs> Here they are laughing together. Oh, what's that? What is that? That's a monkey. What does a monkey say? A monkey says, <laughs> like that. He says, <laughs> he's got big teeth too. Humans have a lot to say too. Hello there. Look, she's talking on a telephone. Can you find these things in the book? Look back and say what you see. So what is this? That's a kitten. What is that? A lion. What does a lion say? Rawr. What's a kitten say? Meow. That's a snake. What does a snake say? Sss. And what does a duck say? Quack, quack. Animals. That was a good story, wasn't it? I enjoyed it too. Listen, we're going to do a hand, a hand song or a, a finger play or an activity song, I should say. It's not a finger play. So we're going to stand up. So stand up on your feet and we're going to use our arms. You ready? Here we go. My arms go up. Put your arms way up, way up here. My arms go up and down. My arms go up and down. Hi ho the day Rio. My arms go up and down. My feet go up and down. Lift your feet. My feet go up and down. Hi ho the Dario. My feet go up and down. My head goes back and forth. My head goes back and forth. Hi ho the Dario. My head goes back and forth. Ma, we all go round and round, turn in a circle. Now turn the other way. We all go round and round. Hi ho the Dario. We all go round and round. We all jump up and down, jump up and down. We all jump up and down. Hi ho the Dario. We all jump up and down. Okay, let's do it one more time. You ready? My arms go up and down. My arms go up and down. Hi ho the Dario.
yo-yo, my arms go up and down, my feet go up and down, my feet go up and down. Hi ho the dario, my feet go up and down, my head goes back and forth, my head goes back and forth. Hi ho the dario, my head goes back and forth. We all go round and round. Turn the other way. We all go round and round. Hi ho the dario, we all go round and round. We all jump up and down. We all jump up and down. Hi ho the dario, we all jump up and down. That was so much fun. I hope you liked that one. Okay, we're going to read another story. So going to get a little closer. This book is called Hurry, Hurry. Hurry, hurry, said the chicken. Wonder what the hurry is. Coming, coming. What's that? That's a goat. Ready, ready. That's the mommy duck. She's asking the baby ducklings if they're ready. Yes, yes. And there they're all splashing out of the water. Quick, quick. Can't, can't. The babies say they can't go quick. Try, try, said the mother cow. There they go. Go, go. Good, good. There they go. Uh-oh, there's the sheep dog. What's he going to do? Faster, faster. That sheepdog, he's chasing him, making him go fast. He said, hurry, hurry, fast, fast. Run, run, said the pigs. Look at those pigs. They're all muddy. They must have been playing in the mud. Hurry, hurry, said the chicken. There they all go. Look at all the animals. Here they come. They're going to come and see what's going on. Shh! Tap, tap, tappity tap. I think something's about to happen with that egg right there. What do you think is going to come out of the egg? <gasps> cheep, cheep. What is that? I'm here. What is it? It's a baby chicken. Welcome, welcome, said everybody. They all said, welcome to the little baby chicken. Hello, little one. And there's his mom and dad. They're so happy to see that little baby chicken. <laughs> hurry, hurry. Oh, did you enjoy that story? I thought you would. Okay, listen, in your bag, you should have a red pom-pom. Okay, so get out your red pom-pom, and this is your apple. If you don't have a pom-pom at your house, find something that's round and red, and you can use it for an apple, all right? So here we go, you ready? There's an apple on my nose, on my nose. There's an apple on my nose, on my nose. There's an apple on my nose, there's an apple on my nose, there's an apple on my nose, on my nose. There's an apple on my chin, on my chin. Where's your chin? There's an apple on my chin, on my chin. There's an apple on my chin, there's an apple on my chin, there's an apple on my chin, on my chin. Here he goes. Whoop. There's an apple on my ear, on my ear. There's an apple on my ear, on my ear. There's an apple on my ear. There's an apple on my ear. There's an apple on my ear, on my ear. Here he goes. There's an apple on my hand, on my hand. There's an apple on my hand, on my hand. There's an apple on my hand. There's an apple on my hand. There's an apple on my hand, on my hand. Here he goes. Bonk. There's an apple on my head, on my head. See if you can balance it on your head. There's an apple on my head, on my head. There's an apple on my head. There's an apple on my head. There's an apple on my head, on my head. Here he goes, he's going to the floor. Plop. 
That's a fun thing. Okay, listen, we're going to go and read another story. This book is called Maisie's Morning on the Farm. Maisie is a very busy mouse. She gets up to all kinds of things. She's always busy doing something. Maisie wakes up early. There's plenty of work to do on the farm. First, Maisie feeds the chickens. She fills her bucket with corn. So there she is scooping the corn out and she's gonna put it in her bucket. Here, chickens, come and have your breakfast. Look, Maisie's dumping the corn on the ground and the chickens are pecking it off the ground. Look at Macy. She's wearing pretty red boots. Next, Macy feeds the pigs. They're hungry. There's the mom pig. She's a sow. And there's the baby piglets. The sheep have lots of tasty grass to eat. So Macy doesn't have to feed them. They just eat grass. Look, there's one, two, three, four sheep and a lamb. That's a baby sheep. It's time to milk the cow. Moo. <laughs> squish, squish, squirt, squirt. Maisie fills the bucket with milk. Look, she's milking the cow. Now it's time for breakfast. Maisie puts cereal and milk in her bowl. She's eating her cereal in a green bowl. Little black cat wants milk too. What do cats say? Kitty cats say, meow, meow. He's having some milk. Good work, Maisie. Have a great day. Now Maisie's gonna sit there and eat her cereal while the cat drinks her milk. Maisie's Morning on the Farm. I hope you enjoyed that story. That was our, our last story for today. But listen, we're gonna do something a little bit different. I haven't done this online before. Some of you might recognize this bag. This bag is the guessing bag. And you get to reach inside and pull something out and see if you can guess what it is. And then you get to tell your mom all about it. So we're gonna try it a little bit different today. Move a little bit closer. I'm gonna pick something out of the bag. I'm not gonna look. And we're gonna see if we can tell what it is. What is that? What does that look like? Do you know what kind of sound it makes? My goodness, what color is that? Isn't he beautiful? Okay, let me set that down right there. I'm gonna pick something else out. We're gonna pick out maybe three things and see if we can tell what they are. I wish you were here to do it so you could pick one out. Oh my goodness, what is that? What does that look like? I think that's a fish. I think it likes to swim. What color is that fish? Can you tell what color that is? My, okay, let's pick out one more thing. Oh, what's that? What is that? That's, <laughs> that's a kind of an easy one. What color is it? What color is that? Do you have one of these at your house? Some of you might have one of these at your house. Do you play with this in the house or is this an outside toy? Mm, that's awesome. Okay, I hope you like that grab bag. I wish you were here to do that. So listen, if you're at home and you have more than one person there, you can do Ring Around the Rosie while we do this. But since it's just me and my friends, we're just going to do Ring Around the Rosie with Rosie, okay? If you are by yourself and you don't have anybody to Ring Around the Rosie with, just grab one of your stuffed animals or your doll babies and you can Ring Around the Rosie with them. You ready? Ring Around the Rosie, pocket full of posies, ashes, ashes, we all fall down. Good job, good job. All right, listen, we're gonna do it one more time. Here we go, you ready? Ring around the rosy, pocket full of posies, ashes, ashes, we all fall down. Good 
good job. Put one hand way up high. Wave goodbye, it's time to go. Wave up high and wave down low. Wave real fast, uh, and wave real slow. Wave goodbye, it's time to go. Wave up high, wave down low. Wave goodbye, I'll miss you so. Mm -hmm. Love you, I'll see you next week. Be good listeners, bye.